Hey, I am Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we will learn how to implement Swagger UI into our ASP.NET Core 2.0 web APIs. So as you all know, Swagger is nothing but an a uh, visualized way or an specification about your API's endpoints. It helps developers for a development, a better understanding of an API which they are consuming for their application or the end users which are using your APIs to present them all the specifications of your endpoints without getting into your code or any logic. So let's start, let's open up Visual Studio 2017 it's still in preview mode at the time of recording and create a new project a new ASP.NET Core Web API give it a name so as you can see uh, it's ASP.NET Core 2.0 Web API okay so this will create a basic application let's open up Solution Explorer, as you can see, so this is the generated or you can say uh, inbuilt API com coming with the project template. So it has some four method, get, post, put and delete. So let's now add, right click on this project, open the NuGet Manager. Let's go to browse and click uh, swashbuckle.asp.net core. So this swashbuckle.asp.net core is uh, being used or is being implemented for ASP.NET core applications. So let's install it. Okay. Okay, so the installation is finished, yeah. Okay, so you can see over here, there is a slash buckle ASP.NET Core 1.0, it's being installed. Now, let's add uh, or configure our Swagger to the middleware. Let's go to startup.cs. Let's close this. Let's close this. Now let's add the, the Swagger generator uh, to the service uh, services collection into our configuration services method. Let's add the services dot add Swagger gen. Okay, so this is the method. Now let's see goes to mm. C dot swagger doc. Now this will take as take uh, two parameters string name let's give it as v1 and let's add some info So now this info is a class into swash buckle asp.net core swagger. So let's add it. Or you can do one thing. You can just copy this. You can have it here. Like this. Okay. So we can just remove the unwanted by clicking right click and click on remove and sort using so this will uh, remove all the unwanted using uh, assemblies or you can say the lines and all so let's go to this new info so it has a uh, few values like title uh, you can add your uh, the license you can add extension description your contact id uh, means contact details and all version version of the api so let's uh, add title uh, let's give it as 
something my api or core api uh, let's give some description Let's give it as, as uh, core API swagger. Great. Okay. Now okay, let's end it up. Okay. So now uh, we have added this. Now let's go to our configure method and uh, enable the middleware for serving the generated json document and the swagger ui so for this let's go to the configure method mm, here we need to write app dot use swagger okay and again app dot use swagger ui now this ui uh, we need to provide the end point of our swagger so the same way c goes to let's end it um, c swagger end point it's asking for a url so it would be slash swagger slash v1 slash swagger dot json and then what's the second parameter again it's in description so what we gave it's core api that's it so now we have added uh, to the configure services we have added to configure now let's build it and that, let's get it speed up and now it will launch the application let's navigate to swagger that's it so here is all the end points you can say for our methods for our values uh, controller as you can see here let's go to that controller so so that's get post all these methods you can click for expanding this all the operations it gives out you the parameter the output schema uh, the method description you can just list all the operations over here you can just show hide if there are multiple controllers in your api that would be all be listed over here you can show do this you can list all these operations you can expand these operations you can test your get method just click on try it out and it will list out all the response body along with the code along with the url along with the headers and all so now let's uh, add something let's customize it let's make it something extensible let's uh, uh, add some comment let's uh, like the configuration action uh, which is being like which is being passed to the swagger gen method can be used to add information such as author license and descriptions and all which we already did over here where it is startup.cs this all things so now uh, let's do one thing now let's add some uh, comments over here log like uh, we can uh, give us give out some details for this uh, method uh, this list all details something like that 
uh, let's give this method again this will provide details for specific ID which is being passed now we need to say okay this ID is mandatory or anything anything any details about this uh, method any details about your the parameter is being passed just write it over here uh, now what to do is go to uh, solution explorer right click on this project sorry go to properties click on build check this box saying as xml documentation file so you can just copy this it is nothing but uh, the xml comments which we are adding it's an uh, output path for that in a, a documentation way in an xml documentation format so this xml usually uh, means basically this name is with your application it, it come uh, syncs with your application that is core with swagger.xml just copy this now let's go to startup.cs and in our configure services method where we are have added this swagger gen that's right c dot again include xml comments and here you need to give the path before that let's do one thing uh, let's find the path so system dot app domain dot current domain sorry current domain dot base directory and it goes with our file name which we have copied so this is the path where the xml file is getting generated with comments let's give this path over here okay and now let's build the application let's run it let's navigate to the path swagger and now you can see those comments which we have added to a particular method is being displayed over here it's being listed that this list all the details we gave for this this will provide details for specific id which is being passed we gave some comment for this id parameter that it is mandatory so in this way you can customize or you can document your web api for a better understanding or an better as best practices so that your api your endpoints which has been consumed by the consumers or other developers they can easily read out they can easily understand the methods they can easily understand what the parameters are what these methods are and it will help you uh, to build a strong api so again you can do many things with this you can change the css of this you can change the look and feel by changing the css into uh, the swagger allows you to change the uh, look and feel of this UI uh, you can add um, any cosmetics you want you can provide uh, more details as we have given this title and uh, this version and all you can change its uh, its title you can change its description you can add the author name many things so you can just go to uh, the swagger documentation you can get all those things listed over here and um, that's it so we are in few clicks and in few seconds we were ready with our swagger documentation uh, into our asp.net code 2.0 web api hope you have enjoyed this video kindly like this video and subscribe to my channel for getting some more similar videos with azure and dotnet core and microsoft technologies thank you for watching